let me first off say, I normally don't do videos like this, but this has been on my mind for almost a year. And the conspiracy theorists are going to love this. You may have heard about the flat earth theory in the last few days because a rapper... But what if Kevin Van Dam retired because he could see the writing on the wall and didn't want to make the change and use forward facing sonar? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So could Kevin Van Dam, the greatest of all time, see the writing on the wall and didn't want to make that change to forward facing sonar and decided let's retire now while we're on top of the game. It makes kind of a little bit of sense as much as I hate to admit this, but in this last tournament with Redcrest, KVD went out there and didn't really go crazy using forward facing sonar. And he probably understood, stood, or maybe he understood that this was something that either you dive in, completely or else you just don't compete. That's what this comes down to. And I know there's a lot of conspiracy theorists that are probably going, I told you so. I knew this was going to happen. So you might not be surprised to learn that more than a million people that birds aren't real are actually government surveillance drones. Sound insane? And a lot of Blackett fans that are going, no, this is what Randy's been saying for years. No, but is there is there something we should be looking at? Now, KVD is never probably ever going to admit it because one of his biggest sponsors is a forward-facing sonar company. And they pro don't do anything without his knowledge, I would assume. But years ago, they banned the Alabama rig in bass and in a lot of tournaments. And one of the people that was against the Alabama rig was KVD. Now, I don't know this for sure. I've only heard about it from numerous people, anglers, media, and other people. But I was under the impression that maybe he didn't like the Alabama rig because it made everybody get to his level faster. If you could use the Alabama rig nonstop, you had an advantage over certain anglers. Now, if you don't know forward-facing sonar as well as Jacob Wheeler, Dustin Connell, Matt Becker, Michael Neal, <laughs> Patrick Walters, Brian Palinick, all of the big hitters, the hammers as some, some people like to call it. Not a big fan of the hammer title. But if he didn't want to dive into that technology and could say, look, I like to fish this certain way. I like to fish powers fishing. I don't want to have to stare down at a screen, at a video screen for eight hours, hurt my neck and back and everything else. What if Kevin could see that writing on the wall? It kind of makes a little bit of sense right now. But getting back to the Alabama ring, he was against it. And of all things, it was removed from the bass events. And most people can agree right now after last season 2023 and the start of the 2024 season. If you are not proficient and awesome at forward facing sonar, you're not competing in the game. And I want to repeat that right now in this season of 2024, the anglers who are winning a majority of the tournaments or winning all of the tournaments or the anglers who are in the top 10, most of them are all forward facing sonar anglers. If you're not, you're not winning. The Red Crest was a perfect example. KVD didn't use his forward facing sonar. He was beating the bank. Look where he finished. John Cox, one of the best shallow water anglers there is, came in the top 20 where the top 10 anglers were all forward facing sonar anglers. Now, can someone win beating the bank it's a possibility but when you have 20 guys or 19 of the top 20 all using forward facing sonar and finding schools of fish and finding the biggest of the biggest fish they're going to beat you and kvd is the best professional tournament that's ever lived. He's the GOAT. I don't think there's any question about it. He is the absolute best. He's the best at marketing himself. He's the best most winnings. He's the best. He's won the most classics. He's won everything. Kevin Van Dam is the greatest angler to ever live. But with forward-facing sonar, Jacob Wheeler and Dustin Connell and a lot of other anglers are going to give the are going to have the run at being called the GOAT. KVD is the Michael Jordan of fishing. But could Kevin see the writing on the wall? It's not that he probably didn't want to learn the technology, but learning it to the proficiency that some of these guys have dialed it in is second to none. And there's a lot of people that don't like to change what they're doing so well. And understandably, when you've been one of the most dominating anglers for 25 plus years, Kevin has been the best angler on the planet for so many years. Why change what's not broken? There's 
there's something to be said to how Kevin fishes, but this forward facing sonar and, and the anglers that use it like they do, they completely kill everybody that's on the bank or flipping and pitching. They completely kill them. So my question to you is, is there any chance that Kevin could see this? Could KV see it on the wall and go, you want to know what? It's not that I don't want to learn it, but I want to do something else like the TV show or the YouTube channel and all the stuff that he's going to do that's probably going to be unbelievable. But as a professional tournament angler, maybe he said, I don't know if I want to, not only do I want not want to learn it, but do I want to compete and use something that I don't find it as fun as when I normally fish? That's, that's what it comes down to. And I know there's a bunch of conspiracy theorists that are going to love this video and a lot of anglers that are going to go, you want to know it, you're wrong, Steve, or whatever it is. But it's just speculation. It's something that I've just, I'll be, I'll be honest, after he said he was retiring, it was all I have thought about for a year. And it isn't that I'm taking anything against Kevin, because I think he can, he showed last year he can be one of the best anglers out there. But the guys who are using forward facing sonar just, they kill everybody. And I know there's a lot of people that dislike it and they think it's video game fishing and they they think there's been videos made of, oh, there's not, the bass, bass anglers are, are cutting their memberships because of forward facing sonar and not so many people are being co-anglers. No, you need to look at the statistics. There's just as many co-anglers fishing those events than ever before. And maybe there's one or two guys that are not, but bass and major league fishing and everybody, they don't, they have no problem getting co-anglers right now or people to join bass or to join major league fishing and become a member of those things. There's a few that drop out. I understand that. But there's a few that drop out because they die. Or there's a few that drop out because they don't fish any. But the industry is just as strong as ever. Other than we've still lost a lot of things because of COVID and, and 2020. There were so many anglers back then compared to right now. So we, of course, have lost something. But we're not losing anything because of forward-facing sonar. In fact, there are a lot of anglers because of forward-facing sonar are joining. Because now they're able to find fish that they never were able to find before. That's the, there's give and take to both sides of it. Is there an issue with maybe conservation down the line? Probably. Is there more anglers going out and fishing because now they're actually catching fish instead of going fishing and doing nothing all day and wasting money? Yes. Guides and other people are able to, to do better because of forward-facing sonar. And the technology is only going to get better as time goes on. And it kind of stinks. But that isn't the question here. Do you think Kevin quit or retired because he knew that this forward-facing sonar was going to change the way the game is played? That's what I want to know in the comments below. Remember, okay, First off, thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a good fishing. Get your fish on. Weird video, I know. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.